Joining us right now, a guy who was back on the football field for the first time in a couple of years. So that was good to see. And that is our buddy Avery Williamson. Avery, how are you? Hey, how y'all guys doing, man? Um, we're not great. But I would yeah. imagine I would imagine you're not great. Because if I'm you, okay, this is me pretend Evan pretending to be Avery. Here's what I'd be saying today. All right, you tell me if I'm wrong. I'd be saying, I have been working my ass off to come back on this football field to help my team play, and I was out there for 17 snaps while Alec Ogletree is running around trying to chase down Raheem Mostert. Are you annoyed slash disappointed by the fact that, yeah, you played, which was great, but you didn't play enough? Well, I I mean, I thought I was going to play more, um, but, man, you know, at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, it's the coach's decision, you know, who's going to be in the game. So, um, you know, I, I was I was glad to be out there. i um, glad I, you know, got a chance to, you know, get my feet wet and, you know, I actually go out there and make a few plays. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm available, man. So, I'm, I'm you know, I'm ready to go, you know, whenever, whenever uh, you know, they're ready to put me in. That's, that's all I can do. So when you're warming up, when you're getting ready, and I can only imagine the emotion that's going on because I feel for you, man. That brutal injury last year, you're fighting to come back. Did you expect, like even you know, 20 minutes before the game, were you expecting to start and have a much more prominent role on this defense? And did it come as a surprise when you were only out there 17 times? Well, I wasn't expecting to start um, this week or well, last week. Um, but um, I knew I would be getting in some. Didn't know how much. Um, but... But, uh, you know, I just – I was just going along, you know, going with the flow. That's all I could do. And, and um, you know, it didn't – you know, wasn't going to try to make a big issue out of it. You know, just uh, – you know, I just was just – you know, whenever the coaches wanted to put me out there. But I just knew that whenever I got out there, I needed to, you know, make something happen, make sure I was on point. And um, that's what I, you know, try to make sure that I did, you know, every time I was out there on the field. Uh, we're talking Avery Williamson. Hopefully, we'll get Joe back because I know he's got a lot to say about uh, I what happened. Joe got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> we're Joe well, I mean, bro, bro I mean, how do you? I think his line cut out. Like right uh, as he was bringing the segment in, something happened to his line. But how the hell did you feel? Because I can tell you how we felt. We're sitting down. Not that there were huge expectations for this game, but you're getting comfortable. It's a Sunday. It's one o'clock. Great. Let's go. Let's watch a football game. And right out of the gate, and, and obviously you're watching from the sideline, but you said you expected not to be out there for the first play. Right out of the gate, I mean, Raheem Mostert's breaking one off for 80 yards. What's going through your mind as that's happening? I, just, I, was, I was in disbelief. I was, uh, honestly thought it was a flag. I thought I saw a flag getting thrown back there and uh, I look back I-, I guess it made with somebody's cleat or something <laughs> but uh, I was like this can't be real can't be real and uh, just when I saw it wasn't a flag I was like wow this is real I just couldn't I couldn't believe it uh, yeah I-, I was I was just as shocked as everybody else that was on the field and watching the game what did Greg Williams say to his defense as they came back into the huddle or came back onto the sideline? What was the message? Because that is, I mean, you know, it's the worst way to start the game, especially yeah. with an offense that can't do a damn thing. That makes it even worse. What was his message to the team after that? I honestly can't remember. I, I don't know. I honestly cannot remember. Um, I was kind of zoned out. <laughs> you know, uh, I honestly couldn't even tell you. Um, but. I know. I was just saying on the sideline, just next next series, just telling guys, just next series, not let it, you know, taint the whole day. Um, just to focus on the next series, and that's pretty much all you can say after a play like that. You know, first play of the game, uh, you know, taking a blow to the gut like that is it's definitely a tough one. Tough one. Yes, yes, it was very tough. All right, yeah. for you personally, how did it feel to be back out there for the first time in two years? Man, it felt good. Like, um, you know, I haven't had any pain in practice or anything like that in my knee or anything. Um, you know, I, I, it felt good. You know, I definitely was nervous. I mean, I woke up like that morning. I woke up at like maybe, I think I woke up at like, like probably like five o'clock. And I, I finally fell back to sleep, but it just, you know, I was just like amped up and ready to go, you know. Um, but it, it was it was good to just get back out there on the field, man. And like, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of wide eyed a little bit just because you know I haven't been out there in a while. But um, 
you know, kind of once I got got the feel of things, I was feeling good, you know, and uh, kind of getting a lot more comfortable. Um, but yeah, it felt good, man. I, you know, just being able to tackle somebody, it's kind, it's kind of like just getting just getting your getting your, your football senses back. So, uh, man, overall, man, I felt like it was good. I was, you know, flying around and uh, dude, just just uh, hungry for some more. That's all I can say. I so so am I. I was hungry for some more too because I don't know. And maybe maybe my expectation was unrealistic, but I thought, hey, they need you. I mean, it was obvious after week one they need you on the field, and you were good when you were out there. At least from what I noticed, I think PFF gave you a good grade, which probably doesn't mean anything to you. But hey, they gave, they gave you a decent grade. Shout out to PFF, appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. Do you yeah. expect moving forward that we're going to see you out there? You know, not. I'm not saying 100 percent of the snaps, but certainly more than 17 snaps. Is that the expectation? As, and as the coaches said, anything about that moving forward with you? Uh, well, yeah, I know they definitely want to start me out slow. They want to start me out slow. They want. They don't want to throw me in there, you know, without a life jacket. But um, I mean, you know, I'm 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 hoping that it's going to, you know, my reps will continue to go up as the weeks go on. And um, you know, I know they they don't want to. They don't want to um, just throw me out there uh, for too many plays, but um, you know I'm definitely I'm feeling good and I you know, I definitely can do you know do um, feel like I can handle a heavier workload. How is the is the hamstring a hundred percent? Like how you feeling health was? Yeah, I'm feeling good now, man. I'm feeling good. That's just, uh, you know I was definitely still kind of you know a little bit sh- not not bad, but just you know. I was just nervous overall, man. Just you know, first time having a live bullet, but uh, like I'm I'm good now, so uh, I definitely will be flying around a lot faster in practice this week, and um, these Raiders is just really just go go crazy this week. I'm, I'm excited. I, I've got I've got even more exciting news than that. Thank God, Joe is Joe. back. <laughs> Bro, Joe. We're, we're having Bro. all kinds of Avery. We're having all kinds. Of, this is almost like the Jets. Like my like like. <laughs> My complex here, the internet is, for some reason, they decide to, like, they got to work on the internet today, okay, where everybody in my complex is basically working from home. I mean, you got to see, it's like a frenzy here. So that's the issue. So it was, it's very jet-like. It it's very jet-like. I think jet-like. it was God. I, I think it was God. God was like. Was that who it was? I give you time to think. I think you know what? I think, I think Adam Gaze is actually the guy <laughs> trying to do the internet up here. I, I think that's it. I think it's got to be Gaze because it's, it's, it's being done so brutally that it has to be him. I mean, what else could the answer be, Avery, you know? Uh, maybe, maybe it's just a service. <laughs> Avery, I am so – I don't know what Evan talked to you about, but I am so disgusted with this team. I mean, I, and, and really, it's beyond. I mean, I, this has nothing to do with you. They're not even putting you out on the field. Are you all right? I mean, is there, you only played a limited amount of snaps. I'm sure Evan asked you this. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. Um, they just, I mean, they want to work me in slow, so I'm just going at the pace that they, you know, they want me to go at, and um, that's all I can do. And when I'm in there, I just want to make sure that I'm going 100 miles per hour. That's all I can do. You know what? You know what I took out of it, Joe. Avery wouldn't say this, but when I asked him it, I took right. it. I took out of him. This, this organization has no idea what they're doing. That well, was the we, that was the basis well, of what I got. Like well, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Alec right. Ogletree, let's put him out there for 40 snaps. Right. Not Avery Williams. Right, right. It's unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> now you weren't on the field for that first play of the game, right? The 80 yard, uh, most thought for 80 untouched. I mean, yeah, I wasn't. How, how I wasn't. does that happen? I mean. I want to go back to this. Forget even that. Forget that. I want to go back to what Bradley McDougal said. Because this, to me, is a major indictment on on the coaching staff, okay? He said, and he comes over from Seattle after the, just a brilliant Jamal Adams trade. He, he he comes over and he says, I don't know, man. We're not winning practice. We're not practicing like we should be practicing. Uh, that's That scares the hell out of me. Do you agree with that, Avery? Do you agree that the practices aren't what they should be? I mean, I definitely I can agree with him at times because you know at times in practice you know guys are missing tackles or you know we aren't doing things right. I feel like we haven't been as crisp as we should be at times. So uh, or starting fast. I mean, he's he's he's, he's definitely being correct you know, on that because at times we we come out we don't start fast in practice and you know we didn't start fast the last two weeks. So that's something that's, that we got to fix ourselves you know and um because because you can't come out sluggish in games and expect to win because you know just like you have an 80 yard run that's that's tough man it's tough to 
to recover from, you know, when, when the team isn't playing as good, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I got to agree with him on that. Wow. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm laughing because that's a problem. Of I mean, we're two is. weeks into this season. It is still a brand new season. Is that concerning you that already there are these issues in practice? I mean, how the heck is it going to translate anything positive if even during practices you guys are struggling? Yeah, I mean, we got we to gotta fix it, man. We got to. And, uh, you know, thankfully, the uh, you know, we got a, We got another opportunity to do it. So um, now I'm. I'm just going to go out there and just make sure that I'm being a positive energy guy and, and just making sure that I'm, you know, that I'm holding myself accountable as well as my other teammates to uh, to make sure that we are being being better in practice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean that's that's something that you know the leaders on the team we got to just address and make sure that that uh, everybody's doing their part because because if we got to we got to. We got to win some games. We got to win some games, and it starts. It starts on Wednesdays. You know, again, we're talking to Avery Williamson and the Jets as they get ready for the Colts in Indianapolis on Sunday. You know, worse than the first play of the game, Avery, that went for eighty, was that third and thirty-one that went for fifty-five yards. Now, I don't know if you were on the field for that or not, but I mean, how does that happen? I mean, to me, that's worse than the first play where for an eighty-yard touchdown. It really is. Yeah. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. Um, I wasn't on the field for that one. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, man. Um, you know, we had them backed up, man, some great players. Then we had a sack. Uh, or, yeah, we had some great plays leading up to that. And I just couldn't believe it. Like, I, I just wanted to run on the field and just tackle the dude. It, it was, <laughs> so did I. I want me too. No, no, you know, I wanted to tackle gays, really. That's what. <laughs> I think that's something you and him got to have. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't die. Nah, believe me. I'm sure Adam wouldn't want to be talking to me about anything, i tell you that. <laughs> but, man, yeah, it was, it, that, I mean, that's, I, I hate to see it, man. Because, I mean, we had him backed up, man. I think the offense could have, you know, you know, maybe, you know, went down there and put some points on the board, man. And, you know, it definitely, that, was a, that was a blow to the gut. That was, that was the first run in that play. That was definitely tough to watch. We're talking to Avery Williamson of the Jets. As you can imagine by talking to us, most Jet fans think the season is over. Now, most Jet fans think this team is terrible. They're going to go 2-14. and 14. What is the mood in that room right now? I mean, is there confidence that you guys could turn around? Are you guys down like the fan base is? What's the, what's the feeling right now? I mean, the mood is still good. Like, we're, we're, not, we're not, like, just hanging our heads. You know, we're, I mean, we're definitely upset about it, but... We know that it's definitely a long season, a lot of games to go. So, um, I mean, if we had a, if we had an attitude, it's definitely going to keep going south. But um, we know that we got to come and keep working. I know we're going to have some good energy tomorrow, practice. But, uh, you know, we just got to – we got to just continue to have as pop, the more positive energy, the better. That's it. So, um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually been – still been a good mood around the building, thankfully. You know, I mean, do you sense a, a sense of urgency here, Avery? Because I mean, I th- you know, Evan just hit on it. I mean, right now, I mean, I think the Jets are the worst team in football. I mean, who's worse? You know, that two games when you guys were not competitive at all, uh, and you know, I'm looking for where these wins are coming from. I mean, I, I where are they? So, I mean, is there a cer- a sense of urgency right now? Oh, yeah. do, do you see it? It's definitely a sense of urgency. I mean, we know we got to get it fixed because you know we follow zero and two. We don't want to. We don't want to. You know, be on three, man. Starting the season out like that, it's definitely a sense of urgency. I mean, uh, we got problems that we need to get it fixed, man. We got to figure out how we can get out the field, how we can score points, man. And you know, that's definitely that's definitely something that that uh, you know you can't take lightly. We like we got to get it done immediately. They're in, the Niners specifically, and they've got to play at MetLife again, are not happy with the field turf. Mm-hmm. And so there's been an investigation into the field turf that you guys played on. I know they barely let you play, which is on the coaches, <laughs> but did it feel bad? Did it feel worse than it had been in the past? What was your sense for the turf you were playing on? I mean, honestly, I feel like it's better than last year, way better than last year. I thought the turf was bad last year. Hmm. But, um, I mean, from the – I mean, from the the guys that got hurt, you know, I don't think it was really – I don't think they can blame it on the turf. 
the way the injuries happened, from what I heard, um, like I heard Bosa got just his knee got bent back. Like he got rolled up. Um, I guess he got pushed over and his, his knee bent back. But I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't. I think the, honestly, I think the turf is better than last year. Interesting. Um, wow. So I don't know, man. Uh, what what the issue is, but but yeah. It's an investigation. I didn't know it was an investigation going. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a there's a big <laughs> thing the NFL's looking into. They need to, they're doing a, a thorough investigation on whether the surface thorough. may have been improperly certified when they checked it out to make sure it was okay. So look, what do we know? I mean, all I know I, is I you guys know. stunk as a team. That's all I know. Right. You know? The stadium stinks too. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the MetLife Stadium's brutal. I mean, you see all these other all these play the place in Vegas now, the place in L.A. Uh, Jerry Jones's place and damn, you see all these places, and this place is, you know, eh, in the middle of, you know what I mean? Every, I mean, it's like, uh, met life. And I'm just trying to win games. <laughs> no, I, that's a good answer. I mean, that's a fine every, answer. every, you, you know what, to, you know what to say, Avery. You know, I, look, I understand. I mean, I don't. <laughs> hey, Avery, you so, know what I was thinking? Of? Job, man. <laughs> I, I was thinking what? yesterday or for Sunday. You know how you what? said, boy, it'll be weird not playing in front of fans? How lucky were you guys that there were no fans there? Right. Can you oh imagine God. the right. booing right. that you guys would have heard right. on Sunday? Ooh. Yeah, it might have been. It might have got pretty rough, man. It might have got pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it was tough, man. It's, it's tough. I mean, it's, it's not fun. It's, it's never fun losing. Um, but just, just going the way that it went. These last two games, I mean, it's definitely not fun. So I'm just looking forward to a, a, a victory. I'm praying for a victory this week. <laughs> and We're all praying I'm, for that. I'm going to sure, make sure I'm doing everything right this week possible to make it happen. You know what I'm praying for every day? Like, 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 you know, that the game is like uh, the game's not over, uh, you know, uh, before I even sit my rear end down to watch it. You know what I mean? Like that, that would be good. You know, like I got low. Oh, we're actually in the game. It's like five minutes to go in the first quarter and they still got a chance. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure we're competing. <laughs> oh my God. So, by the way, did you hear that? I just got to say this about the yeah. booing. I don't know if you heard this or not. And I love this. I got to tell you. In Philadelphia, did you hear about this, Avery? No. All right, in Philadelphia, you know, because the Eagles are having their troubles and they got whacked by the Rams Sunday. Wentz, Carson Wentz threw an interception, right? Yeah. And whoever's controlling the sound in Philadelphia started booing them. They were boos. <laughs> could you could no. you imagine? Could you imagine if I was controlling the sound at MetLife? <laughs> oh my oh, god! Man. The you, the boos would be raining F-bombs. down, Avery. They'd be raining you down. <laughs> Wait, so do they have fans in Philly? No. No, no. no it was no, fake man. booze. It was words. fake booze. It was fake booze. Oh, man. How good they, is that, they, Avery? Come on. You think they ain't going to fire the dude? I, you know what? I don't know. Is he I was wondering the same thing because when we were I talking about raised. it yesterday, I would not be happy if I'm the Eagles. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, you I love it. I love it. But, like, if that really <laughs> happened at MetLife, like, you wouldn't necessarily be <laughs> thrilled about it. It's one thing no, for me and Joe to pull. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's Philadelphia. I give the guy yeah, – to Philly. me, the guy should get a raise for doing that, but that's me. <laughs> that's Philly for you, man. Oh, my God. Jeez. So, Avery, so, so, again, let's go back to so – how many plays do you think you're going to play this week? you think you're going to be on the field a lot more against the Colts or no? Uh, we'll see, man. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Um, you know, um, definitely, you know, just I'm just going to be prepared for whatever, honestly. And, um, you know, I'm feeling – I'm healthy. I'm, I'm definitely really healthy now. Made through the game good, no extra pain. So good. Um, I'm definitely, you know, I'll be ready to go. You know, more than more than 17 snaps. So man, yes. we're gonna see. Just wait. Just wait for what the coach, whatever the coaches do. And you know, man, I'll be I'll be be prepared, man. As soon as I get off the phone, I'm watching some film. Good. Look at you. Good. good. Does yeah, Greg Williams? Does Greg Williams like you, Avery? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm yeah. just. You know, what do I know? Yeah, I mean, no, nah, we. I feel like we have a great relationship, man. So, um, I mean, man, I'm, 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 I'm ready to go whenever, man. So, I've been, I've been preparing for over a year, you know, to play. So, um, dude, I'm just amped up and just, just grateful for whenever they give me the opportunity to go out on that field. Yeah, and they, they know I'm going 100 miles per hour. That's we all I can get- say. We can't what get is, on you. We can't wh- get on you, Avery. You know. No, no. And look, when you're out there, you are effective. What right. is 
this Connor, because you had an ACL injury. We know about what's mm-hmm. going on with Saquon across town with the Giants. Obviously, very yeah. different position. But what kind of rehab is that going to be like for Saquon Barkley? How Man. difficult is it? It's difficult. I mean, you know, everybody reacts differently to it. Like, my knee was – my problem was that I had a lot of stiffness. And I don't know if it was just because, like, just my – the way my body well made up or what, or – I had an MCL as well, so I don't know what all damage he had to his. Um, but um, it's just a, a, a very, very slow process. You know, everybody's different. Like, mine took a lot longer. You know, hopefully he wanted to go through the same, you know, process as me. Like, the, the time-wise, hopefully it's just faster. But, um, you know, it's just it's, it's very monotonous, man. It's like every day, you know, when you wake up, you're doing the same thing. You know, it's in some right. some weeks it's not. You don't see any results, you know, but uh, it's just, it's very slow. It's very slow, man. And the pain is the worst part. It's just, you know, waking up, you know, not being able to sleep mm. good and, you know, just waking up in pain. You know, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough, man. Just your whole life is just thrown off. You know, you can't, yeah. you can't do different things like just like sitting in a chair, you know, sitting in the chair is, mm. is, is, t- is tough, man. You know, I wouldn't even want to go out to dinner because, you know, I had to stretch my, have my legs stretched out. But then my, you know, it just, my, my leg would be going to sleep just because the way I'm sitting, you know. Right. So it, it's, it's just, it's not comfortable, man. It's, it's, it's a long process. I definitely uh, have a, I, I shed a tear for them guys, man, that, that, you know, that, you know, are having these injuries, man. Achilles, I mean, like all these injuries, Achilles, ACLs, like, because now I know what it's like to go through that process, and right. it's not fun. I tell you that much. No, it's not no. fun, man. And, and I would think. Fun. And and how about the mental aspect of it? Just you know, all, you oh, know, yeah. all that time rehabbing and thinking, boy, am I ever, am I ever going to be able to get back and be the oh, same yeah. guy? You drive, right? I mean, you that's got to play crazy. on you. Yeah, you drive yourself crazy, man. Just like it, just all the thoughts going on in your head. Like you know, people can, you know, it's easy to tell you, you know, don't, you know, try not to stress about it, but. Until it's you going through it, you know you can't you can't relate. And uh, you know I, I'd be talking to my dad and stuff, and you know he, you know he, he, you know try to you know keep me in a good headspace. But uh, you know when it's not you going through it, it's it's tough, man. And you know I I didn't know if I was going to be able to you know even play again or sure, if I would sure. return and be able to you know run as fast, cut, get off a block. So. It's scary, man, going to sleep at night. You know, not just just your livelihood. Yeah, it's yeah. Your livelihood, man. So I know. I mean, I think Saquon is going. Is, he's going into his his fourth year. This is his third, third year. year. Third year, third right? Year, his recovery man. will be his fourth yes, year. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, man. So I mean, I I hate it for him. You know, so he'll be having all those thoughts. But I mean, it's just uh, the main thing is that you just got to stick to your treatment. Stick to your treatment, and right. I made sure I did a good job of that and staying, staying true to true to um, to my treatment, man, and going every day. That's the main right. thing. That's the main thing. You really got to work hard at it. Well, that but, that's uh, why the, you know, despite how awful the football game was, congratulations to you because you got back on the football field. You there, you made it back. So good. And we're for happy, you, you know, Avery. We're happy too for you uh, because you're a good guy and uh, you know, really. Uh, and I mean, look, I mean. It's ridiculous that you can't get out there. I mean, considering what's going on with this team, you're a pro. You should be playing. I, I don't. I don't get why you're not playing more than you are. But that's that's me. Well, I guess we'll see this week. That's all we can do, yeah. man. That's Let's it. see you out there, that's man. Well, pick good six, luck. Pick six. For victory. Pick Damn six right. of Philip Rivers. How's that? A little, little pick. Pick one off. Take it to the house. What do you think? I'm, hey, I, when I take it to the house, I'm gonna do the LT at the end. You know what I'm saying? He's, you know how he celebrated. With a little dropping the ball. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. No, I know what it is. You, are you gonna like <laughs> salute? Are you gonna do like a salute too, or something like that? No, nah, I just you know how the infamous you know the LT when he. No, scored. I know what you mean. Yeah, I yeah. Know you know me score. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about Ladania, obviously not the Thomas. About Thomas, yeah. Thomas and not the yeah, LT, yeah, which not, is really yeah, Lawrence not Taylor. That LT. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> right. But yeah. Six six would be amazing. Be amazing. It would be unbelievable. That might be the only way you guys score too. So I mean, you know, you need you need, you need a couple defensive touchdowns here for hey, sure. However, we can get them, man. Right, right. How we can get them? That's, that's, that's it, all baby. that matters. Get it done. That's all that, that matters. 
Avery, good luck, hey, my friend. Avery, go hey, shock the world. Go shock, go shock the world this week and go uh, destroy everybody's knockout pool. Will you please go out there and, and, hey, and include the including yeah. ours? Well, maybe yeah. I may have to go that route. <laughs> I may have to do it. I may have to. I don't. It's 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 a, it's a no brainer. Unfortunately. Oh man, yeah, I'm definitely going. I'm, I'll be going 100 miles per hour. Beautiful. Andy, Thank when you're Avery, taking it to the house and you're doing ELT, think of us, okay? Think of me. Yes, sir. When you're in the end zone, say, let me think of Beningo and Roberts. Let me think of those guys, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, I appreciate it, guys. All right, Avery. So, hey, Avery, Avery, do me a favor. Say hello to Adam for me. Tell him I send my yes, love, sir. okay? Say, Adam, I I, all the love to Adam, okay? I will. All right, man. <laughs> all right. See you. Avery Williamson, linebacker for the New York Jets. <laughs> 